successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket as we see all nine of those first stage Merlin engines glowing beautifully carrying Telstar 19 Vantage to geostationary transfer orbit. Now upon ascent we go through max Q as our first milestone and again that's the maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's an important milestone because it means that from that moment on we're going through thinner and thinner atmosphere and less and less stress. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've got that confirmation on the nets that we have gone through max Q. So again, less and less. Stage one, entry burn is shut down. And the burn has concluded. To, to give some scope for what that burn did, we're currently traveling about a, looks like a 17,000 kilometers per hour. That is multiple times the speed of a commercial airliner. And in about a minute and a half, we're gonna be touching down on that drone ship. So in the course of about 90 seconds, we're gonna be going from many times the speed of a jet to zero. So it really shows the efficacy of those burns as they decelerate the vehicle. Now, as we continue this, I believe we did hear that over the nets. So SECO did occur. So in the middle of that sequence of landing, as I said, second engine cutoff number one did happen. So the first of the two planned burns of second stage has concluded. We'll give you an update on the first stage landing as soon as we can. But for now, second stage is in good orbit. At this moment, we're going to enter about an 18 minute coast phase. Again, second stage has two planned burns, as I said, and the second one will start about 18 minutes from now. So see you at about T plus 26 minutes. Welcome back, everybody, as we near the end of our brief coast period where stage two is about to reignite to perform its second of the two planned burns. Now we're up. Payload separation confirmed. All right, and as Telstar 19 Vantage fades into the distance after a gentle push from those deployment springs on second stage, that will bring an end to our webcast tonight. So wrapping up everything in quick summary, it was a great liftoff of both vehicles conjoined. We had the successful separation and landing of the first stage, and then second stage continued on with its two burns to deliver Telstar 19 Vantage to the geostationary transfer orbit.